I'm here at the 13th North American Underwater Rugby Tournament where six teams are competing for that championship. What in the world is underwater rugby and where did it come from? I started off in uh, Germany in some uh, clubs where they were uh, fedding, get, getting fed up of uh, just uh, swimming down, up and down. So they put in a ball and they got some baskets and tried to invent the game. The history is simple enough, but how does this work underwater? That is the net that everyone is swimming to, causing a scrum to defend the goal. It can get pretty brutal there, and you must be able to hold your breath for a while. This sport does prove similar to rugby, because if you're the guy or gal with the ball, well, your body is free game and you're going to get hit. Hear that green buzzer? That buzzer is to indicate when to begin play, a foul, or a goal. The rules are quite simple. Six people in the water for each team, can only hit the person with the ball, and each goal is one point. So how did this tournament start? Uh, starting in 2012, the, our first tournament, we bring some teams from US and Toronto. So right now we have six teams. Camillo and other organizers hope this tournament will attract more interest in the sport. So what makes someone want to get involved with the sport where you're practically wrestling underwater? Well, I used to play underwater hockey, and then when, uh, when I moved to New York, nobody was playing underwater hockey, they were all playing underwater rugby. So I started playing underwater rugby about a year ago. No, I started swimming when I was about five years old and I did a lot of free swimming. And swimming, it's, it's, you know, there's so many laps you can do, you, you get bored. This is a turn to just swimming. Competitive swimming ends at a certain age. This, I will do the rest of my life. One of the biggest knocks on the sport is that it's not spectator friendly. To help combat that, tournament officials set up two underwater cameras by each basket so friends and families can watch. This sport definitely proved to be an exhausting one, but all in all, it was a great time for the teams and their families. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Brendan Leslie.